Guys, we have a package to unbox. Alright, I'm ready. You guys want to see what's in this box? We'll do an unboxing. Let's do it. Alright, All right, first we're going to start off with the small toy or the big toy? Hmm. Let's do the big toy. Okay. I can't be patient anymore. I want to see this big bad toy. Oh man. You know what's going on my Snapchat. So we're obviously not using a proper box cutter here, but this works. But I don't advise that you do this at home if you don't have experience. So, up until now, oh my god, we have been filming with these. You see two of them down here. These bad boys, Canon 70Ds, and they have been absolutely amazing. They have produced some really good film, and we're actually filming on right now a Canon M50, which is coming to you with 4K quality. But, something inside this box tells me that something's about to change. So ready? Here we go. Wow, it's a secret they even put like this. Double package. Double packaging around it like you think came from Fort Knox. So we may actually have to pull this out came from Fort and Knox. chuck the box. All right, so let's see what we do here. Oh my God. Now, this is supposed to... <gasps> there it wow, is. look at this. So this is a huge, huge package right here. Pretty heavy too. I gotta heavy say heavy. thank you to Adorama. They actually packed this up really secure, really tight. Thank you. And safe. Let's just use a knife. So we're gonna use a knife again, very carefully. Take some things off here. Just around the edges. So should we start with this bad part or should we start with the accessories? Oh, I'm saying we start with this. Okay. Again, lots and lots of tape. So again, Adorama did an amazing job packaging this. We've been filming with these, Canon 70Ds. Again, weddings. We've done some good corporate work with these things. They've done a fantastic job. We will use them as backup cameras, but we are now officially taking our production to a whole nother level. level with this very, very, very big and bad boy, Blackmagic Ursa Mini 4K. That's it. This thing is a beast, professional grade. If you look these up, they have been used in films such as Transformers, The Avengers, and other movies. So this is a movie quality production camera that we're going to be using now for mostly corporate work and for the right price, some wedding videos as well. So you're probably guessing now what's in box number two. And again, here, get a nice up close. Look, this is actually a, a very ergonomic camera actually, just having just played with it and it comes with this five inch LCD five screen. Inch LCD screen. Huge. Again, it's hard to say, but here I'll turn the camera around. Like Look we, at that. And I also have an additional attaching screen too and whatnot that attaches to it. We have this it. little tiny screen, but it obviously beats this, yeah. So we're probably gonna have to get a much bigger attached screen, but you know, you see all the buttons inside. Yeah, this is like legit. Please. Wow. So, here is probably just accessories for it, as you can see. So we're going to go to box number two while he's opening this up over here. So box number two, you might be wondering what's in box number two. So we're going to gently open this up. Oh wow, here we go. So, then we're going to toss this box away. We have decided to pair this camera with a Rokinon, or however you pronounce it, Rokinon, Rokinon 85 millimeter. No. 85 millimeter, I'm sorry, T15 full frame cinematic lens. No way. Oh yeah, oh look at that, Da Vinci Studios. We got Da Vinci Resolve in this bad So we're gonna open this lens up. Wow, this is a heavy lens. 
I remember that. Oh. This, my friends, is a cinematic lens designed for full cinema effects, full cinema filming. Take the primes off. It's also a big, massive prime lens. Beautiful quality picture. Absolutely stunning. This will snap onto this bad boy right here. This is, by the way, this is an Ursa Mini 4K EF mount camera, so all of our Canon lenses, because as you can see, we have been photographing and shooting all film up until this point with all Canon cameras. There she is. So might as well use the lenses that we have available to us. She's ready. And there she is with the full mount, full cinematic lens. And obviously we don't have any power to it right now. Let's get a close up. But she's ready to more or less rock and roll. All right, guys. So let's get a nice and close up view for you. You can see this massive LCD screen right here. Literally the same size as my hand. Got all the, this is for the battery. Chucker in there. You got some audio jacks, some uh, power plugins. This part's cool. You got a whole handle right here, made for recording, aperture, focusing, and here's the best part about it. You can add things to it on top. Let's get a close look at the lens. All right, so. This is an 85 millimeter prime cinema lens. It means it's all manual, smooth to the touch or to the roll. You got your mic up here. You got your record button, your focusing button, your iris, play button, forward button, F1, F2. I think these can be custom. To whatever you want it to be. Um, you got your different audio ports right there. This thing's a monster. I can't wait to get it open. We're going to bypass this camera. They come with very expensive. You have to buy very expensive cards for these cameras. We're going to bypass and go direct to a external hard drive, one terabyte, one terabyte hard drive. Uh, that way we don't have to spend almost two to three hundred dollars on the memory cards for this. And a good colleague of ours is going to help us uh, do some customization of this to make it more efficient for actual production as well as film production. Uh, so you're going to want to stay tuned as we do these things we'll show you. Alright everyone, so that in a nutshell was our exciting new toy that we just got today we're super excited so what this is going to enable us to do is we definitely will still continue to use these as backup cameras primarily for weddings uh for yeah. some corporate stuff or smaller lower budget type work but we now can go into the higher end production for our larger clients and they're going to get a good solid professional camera here that will enable us to not only film much more efficiently, but you know, if you're going to charge these price ranges for some of these upper end clients, you're going to want to come in with something like this versus something like this. And not that these are bad cameras, these actually have done us very well. Oh, yeah. Uh, we started off with them and they have been very efficient and done their job. But it's going to be nice now to actually do a production, not have to stop every 30 seconds to start the camera's over again. Yeah. It just shoots directly in raw, so we can do continual shooting and not have to stop. And it also help our editing process too. Uh, it'll make editing a little more efficient for us as well. So that's it. As far as some new equipment that we got on board, we wanted to share it with everybody. We're excited for our clients. Stay tuned. We will be doing more videos on this camera. You're going to see tons of videos already on YouTube in regard to it. But we're going to bring our own spin on it. See how it works for us. And we look forward to hearing what our clients have to say about the product that they get from this particular camera. Yes. So stay tuned, subscribe, and keep up to date keep, with our Instagram. Yeah, keep up to date on our Instagrams. 
Facebook, Facebook yep. Twitter, and most importantly, click that button below, subscribe to continue following us to see our current uh, production work. We and try to upload every day, guys. Yeah, we try. We try to do our best, but we're heading into wedding season here shortly. In fact, we're working on one tomorrow. But again, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Thank you.